Hi guys, it's Shamsa and welcome back to my little kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to make a jari murg tikka in an air fryer. These are so juicy and moist, absolutely beautifully spiced with that ajar sort of like spice mix. A jar is basically pickle and if you've had a jar or you know you enjoy it with your curries then you know exactly what I'm talking about. That unique blend of spices in this marination is what makes these kebabs just fantastic. Now before I tuck into this and tell you guys exactly how they are please hit that subscribe button, turn your bell notifications on and uh, you'll be the first to be notified of any recipes when they go live on my channel and um, also share it with your family and friends and let me know in the comments how you find it. So now time to try this. I'm just going to pop this down and just look at how wonderful they look. Ooh. Mm. There's something about that masala that mix that just gives that flavour to the kebabs oh wow you can definitely taste that hint of mustard oil coming through please try the recipe out guys they're absolutely wonderful best thing they're made in an air fryer quick easy and convenient i'm going to share with you lots more recipes um using air fryers because obviously a lot of people like them because they're convenient to you so stay tuned and i'll be sharing lots more Till next time, take care and happy eating. So the ingredients you're going to need is chicken breast fillets cubed into medium pieces. These are approximately 650 grams in weight. I've got here fresh ginger and garlic. My ginger was approximately uh, two inches by two inches and I've just peeled it and chopped it up roughly. This weighs approximately 20 grams. I've got here six fresh garlic cloves. These weigh 30 grams in weight and we're just gonna add a little bit of water into this and we're gonna grind this down to a paste which I'll show you how it looks once I do that. I've got here three tablespoons of Greek yogurt. We need one tablespoon of um, mustard oil. I've got here the juice of one lime and one teaspoon of salt and Kashmiri chili powder which adds a really nice flavor and color but not the heat. Here in a pan I've sort of like roasted two tablespoons of gram flour which is also known as basin or chickpea flour in two tablespoons of unsalted butter and um, I've done that for about three to four minutes until it's really nice and sort of like golden brown and it's got a nutty sort of like aroma and here I've got some whole spices now uh, for your ease, I've dry roasted all of my spices just to show you the quantities. But when you're at home, just weigh them out and just pop them into the pan all together and just dry roast them. And we've got here one teaspoon plus one fourth of a teaspoon of fennel seeds, cumin seeds and mustard seeds. I've got here half a teaspoon of nigella seeds, which is also known as gulanji and half a teaspoon of ajwain which is known as carom seeds. Now once you've dry roasted all your ingredients let them cool down for a bit and then just pop them into your grinder and just coarsely grind it into um, a sort of like a, a powder a, a coarse powder mix and I'll show you how that looks once it's done. Now we also need um, 18 centimeter wooden skewers and we'll soak them once we actually come around to um, threading our uh, chicken pieces on there so let's start cooking. Okay so we're going to start off first of all by grinding this down with one tablespoon of water and I'll just go off and do that and then I'll show you how it looks. And there we have it guys I've ground my uh, ginger and garlic down with one tablespoon of water and that's how it looks. Now I'm just going to set that aside and now I'm going to coarsely grind my whole spices and I'll show you how they look once they're done. And there you go that's how your um, a jari mas spice masala should be looking once you've coarsely ground it. So now let's move on to marinating our meat. Right okay so now we can add all our ingredients into our chicken here. So straight in with the ginger and garlic paste first of all and then the Greek yogurt, the roasted butter and gram flour so we've got straight in, the lime juice, the salt and the Kashmiri chili powder, the coarse ajari spice mix that we just grinded and one tablespoon of mustard oil. And now we're just going to mix all these ingredients together until they're well combined. Right okay so that's nicely combined. 
I'm just going to take my glove off and now what we're going to do is we're going to just cover this with some cling film and we're going to pop this into the fridge and we're going to let it sort of like marinate overnight now that gives you the best results i mean if you're doing this recipe then obviously i rec highly recommend the, that you actually marinate it overnight um, but if you're short for time then i would recommend you actually let this marinate for at least two to four hours so i'm going to pop this into the fridge and i will see you guys back tomorrow for when I show you how to make these. Right, okay, so it's the next day. Now I've taken my marinated chicken out of the fridge and it's been resting for one hour to come down to room temperature. And I've also got my uh, skewers, which I've pre-soaked for 30 minutes in water to prevent them from uh, burning. And now we're going to assemble our kebabs. Okay, before we actually start to assemble our kebabs, we are going to preheat our air fryer. So turn it on and we're going to preheat it at 230 degrees C. And once that's done, we'll come back to it. Right, before we actually thread these onto our skewers, just mix everything up one more time. The aroma is just absolutely wonderful. And now time to assemble. Just like that. Oops, <laughs> just like that. And then I just pop them on the side like that. There you have it guys, my skewers are all ready to go into the air fryer. Right, the air fryer has preheated, so I'm just gonna take my oil spray and I'm just gonna just spray the, the crisper plate just to prevent the, the kebabs from sticking. And then I'm just gonna add these in one by one. Like that. And then just give them a light spray. Turn the air fryer on and you want to turn the air fryer on to 230 degrees C. So I'm just going to do that. So for my air fryer, it's full whack. And we're cooking these for 14 minutes. And I'm just going to turn my shake button on. And obviously halfway through the cook, we're going to turn them. And I'll show you how they look halfway through the cook. Right, okay, so we are now halfway through the cook and I'm just going to show you how they look Whoa, just look at that now all you need to do is just turn them over and we're just going to spray them i'm going to be brave and i'm going to use my fingers because it's really easy just to sort of like flick them over and i do have asbestos hands but it just gets a bit fiddly when you're using tongs ow oh, that's hot so just go in and just spray them again with some oil spray and then back in for the remaining cook and I'll show you how they look once they're done. And the kebabs are fully cooked and just look how wonderful they look. And I'm going to remove them from the basket and show you how they look properly. So this is how the achari murgdika boti looks. Slightly charred on the outside which is wonderful and juicy and moist on the inside. To serve these this is completely optional. You don't have to do this. It's just take some melted butter and just baste them on top like that with that wonderful butter like that, just to give it a lovely sort of like sheen and you are good to go. Oh, just look at them. I'm going to cook the remaining amount and then I'll plate it up and show you guys exactly how they look. <laughs> 